It's just a holdup. Bank robberies don't look like this anymore. Nobody at this thing. They're more like this. These aren't your standard robberies. These guys will come in with explosives, trucks, take down a wall, cause a lot of damage, and, and obviously gain access to the facility. Catching these bad guys isn't easy, but there's a new invention that might help. It's kind of creepy. Today, I'm heading to a top secret Brinks location to check it out. Just keep walking out. I think you'll find it. So here. Oh, nice setup, Larry. 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 You left your honey out to dry here, Larry. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What'd you think, Alan? Well, you got my attention. I'll tell you that. There you go. Can you imagine trying to rob this facility right now? Uh, no. Well, I could imagine it, but I would think that that fog is a pretty good deterrent. It's going to stop me in my tracks. You won't be able to see anything. But the best part is what you don't see, what's invisible in that fog. Really? Yes, sir. Well, show me. Well, let's walk over here. I can tell you. We'll get away from the fog. <laughs> So Larry, this is the machine that you smoked me out with? This is it, and two things make it really special, Al. It's integrated into the alarm system of whatever facility we're in. So when the bad guys come in, attack, or rob the facility, it sets it off as, as you saw. Yeah, but really. what really makes it neat, in our opinion, is the secret sauce that we put into this liquid, this glycol-based liquid, is an invisible DNA tagant that's made out of plant material. That's the invisible part, an invisible DNA. That's what you're coded in head to toe. Plant-based DNA. If I go outside, will I photosynthesize now? <laughs> yes, you will, even okay. in this weather. So tell me what the DNA does. You're now covered, as we said, in that DNA mark that's unique to this facility. So when your shirt or your weapon or the money is found a week from now, we can authenticate that back in the lab with a swab technique that you'll see that will bring us back to this actual location and, and you can't get it off it's going to stay in your clothes for years it'll stay in your hair and your skin for three weeks or even more so the dna in this fog fluid here is unique to this machine and this location yes. at this time yes it is if i'm a bad guy and i know that this facility is installed with a dna tagging from from our company i'm not going to hit this building because i probably can't get anything and if i do i'm going to get caught and convicted based on the evidence tracker that's now covering them head to toe so it's not just about forensic tracking, it's about prevention as well. Absolutely prevention. And what happens now? We're gonna march you back to our lab in Long Island. We're gonna swab you and, and do the authentication, the DNA analysis, to prove that it came from this Brinks facility. So I'm the perp now, I'm the bad guy. You're gonna swab me down? Yes, we are. We're gonna do the perp walk, take you out to Long Island, and you're coming with us. Oh, great. It's all yours, Jen. Apparently, I'm covered in DNA. Well, let's take a few swabs. So because you walk through the fog, I'm going to swab various parts of your body. Okay. Start with your shirt. Okay, so what exactly are you doing with those swabs? I'm picking up the DNA that you walked through. What if I wash my hands? It should still be there. Really? Yes. Okay, I washed them with soap. You can't kill our DNA. And now the last, I'm going to swab your face. Mm. Tickles. Okay, how do you know you're not getting my personal DNA? We only test for our signature DNA, so why don't you go grab a lab coat? I'm ready to analyze. I'm at the hood. Now you're gonna take your swab. Okay. And you're gonna cut just the tip of it. Just the tiny little tip of it. Yep. Okay, so there's, ooh, that was easy. Yep. And it's still on your razor blade, so all you have to do is just pick up a tube, place the swab inside the tube, and then close the cap. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that Great was job. effortless. Thing. You. We're going to put the samples through uh, two more steps of analysis, amplify our DNA, and see where it came from. Okay, you lead on. All right. My fate is in the hands of the machine. Okay, so now, Alan, we're in the post-amplification room, and here we can see that our amplification actually worked. That's a good thing. So what's that little spike right there? So that's the reference sample from the canister at Brinks. Okay, and what's the spike below it? The spike below it is a signature DNA profile from your sample. They look kind of close. They are in a match, and it show, also shows that you were at the scene. Really? Yes. You can tell that from because they're lined up perfectly like that? I'm going to write up an expert witness report and send it off to the police. To the police? The police. I didn't do anything. Seems like you did. i got to get a lawyer. <laughs>